All right, so we just went through that cooler, this tote, this tote. We're on the last tote right here. Tons of meat. We just bought a half a beefalo and she's stacking it in the freezer. Okay guys, so I know a lot of you were interested in buying stuff straight from farmers, straight from local farms, people that raised and sold beef, cows, lambs, chickens, and even pigs. I'm gonna do another video on this, but we're pretty excited about how much we got, a half a beefalo. So let's show you what that looks like. Welcome back to all of our subscribers. Thanks for watching. If you're brand new here, like stuff like this. News that affects you, prepping tips, emergency preparedness how-tos. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. So what we did is we just bought a half a beefalo. We bought a pig, we bought a lamb. We're going straight to the farmers, getting good pricing and avoiding having to go to the stores, getting what's out there. You guys don't even want to know what they put into the meat these days. But we're stacking it up. We're good for over a year. We've got our freeze dryer so we can freeze dry this stuff just in case SHTF happens and we need to preserve it without refrigeration. So I've done videos on solar generators so you know how to operate stuff like that. But when that power does go out, my thing has always been you have to have a backup plan and you have to have a backup plan to the backup plan. When you're prepping up and stockpiling this much meat because of meat shortages, because of inflation, hyperinflation, maybe the recession they say is coming or is already here. You gotta think about power outages. What happens if the power goes out? What happens if you experience one of those rolling blackouts that they're doing? Well, I just emptied three of these totes that were jam packed full of meat. In fact, I got a video of our littlest one, Finn, standing next to all that meat. That's a yard of meat. So here's what it's looking like. We got tons of meat, stew meat. We've got ribeye steaks, flank steaks, chuck roasts, tons of hamburger, sirloin steaks. Everything that you would get when you buy a half of a cow. Now this one happens to be a beefalo. Not totally sure what that means, but I'm pretty sure it's crossbred between like a bison and a cow. Well, a lot of people rant about how good it is. I'm gonna find out today. We've got tons of salmon. We've got deer burger, venison burger. We've got lots of pork already. And our lamb is getting butchered as we speak. Like I said, when I got the half of beefalo, I didn't know what to expect. I know how much it costs, and it gave me an idea. I had no idea it would fill up three totes and a little cooler. So you guys might be wondering how much did a beefalo cost? Buying it straight from the farmer. For that, let me give you a fun fact. How much beef in 2022, statistically, does an average person consume a year? One person consumes an average of 58.9 pounds of beef a year in 2022. So with that, you take the average cost of beef these days from hamburger to nice steaks, you know, $6 all the way up to $16 per pound, come across it with an average of $11. It comes out to almost $700 a year for an average adult. And that's for 58.9 pounds. We just got about 120 pounds. So over twice that amount and we paid $1,295. So, so what's the difference you might ask? What's the difference between something straight from the farm or something from the grocery store? Well, do you guys know how much stuff they actually put into that meat? Did you know that most manufacturers inject carbon monoxide to keep it looking fresh? And they put sodium nitrates and sodium nitrites for preservatives. And you guys ever look at the label on meat at the stores? It's got a paragraph of what they inject it with. And that's aside from a lot of meats getting color added to them because they don't even look normal. You know what the stuff that I'm buying is injected with? Fields of grasses, maybe some grains here and there. Normal stuff God intended these animals to eat. In fact, in case you missed this video right up here, I'll put it in the description and at the end also, FDA just announced that they are approving lab-made meat for human consumption. You guys picking up on where all this is going? Nowhere good. So you guys are most likely eating a ton of meat that's injected with a ton of artificial ingredients, or by the sounds of it, it's just gonna be straight up fake from the lab here before long. 
So anyway, guys, if I miss something or you want to add something to the comments down below, please do so. I've got a lot more coming on helping you guys find farmers and buying this stuff, but I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek on how good this is going. And also, guys, we're floating right around Thanksgiving, which means there's a lot of sales out there. Black Friday, Cyber Monday. If you're looking for a big, huge freezer like this or a small freezer like this, both super useful. Maybe you're wanting to learn about the freeze dryer. Any of that stuff has been on your mind, on your wish list. Not a better time to take advantage of sales right now. I'll leave videos all the way around me right here so you guys can click on one of those, check them out even more. And don't forget to share this video out to like-minded people. Let me know if you like updates like this. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing, guys. We'll see you on the next one.